Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. With the new release of Angular 17, when you install an Angular 17 app, the Angular CLI, by default, generates the app with standalone components. As a result you won't find the old app.module.ts file and app.routing.module.ts file. In this video, I will show you how to install Angular 17 app without standalone components. In this Angular 17 app, you can see that the app.module.ts file is missing from the app folder. Open app.component.ts file and you will see that it is a standalone component, which doesn't need to be declared in an ng module. Common module and router outlet are added in the imports array. App routing.module.ts file has been replaced with app.roots.ts file. In your terminal, type the command ng space g space c home to create a new component called home. Open home.component.ts file and you will see that it is also a standalone component. Let's see how to install Angular 17 app without standalone components. Open the directory where you want to install your Angular 17 app. Click here, type cmd and press enter to open the command prompt in the directory. Now, type the command ng, space, new, space, your project name, space, dash dash standalone, space false. Here, we are adding dash dash standalone false to install the Angular app without standalone component. Press enter to select CSS for stylesheet. Now, type n to not enable server side rendering. You can also add dash dash standalone equals false or dash dash no dash standalone with the ng new command to install the Angular app without standalone component. The download is complete, now type cd your project name to go to the project directory. Now, open your project in your editor. Open app folder, here you will see app.module.ts file. Here, you will see browser module and app routing module are added in the imports array. Here is the app-routing.module.ts file, which is responsible for configuring and defining the routes for your application. Open app.component.ts file and you will see that it is not a standalone component. In your terminal, open command prompt, type the command ng space g space c home to create a new component called home. Open home.component.ts file and you will see that this component is also not a standalone component. Now, open app.module.ts file. Here, you will see that home component is imported and added in the declarations array. ng module is imported from the at angular slash core module. It is a decorator that is used to define and configure Angular modules. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.